in international law is priceless. A guaranteed defense of predictability and stability for weaker states like the Philippines. To sponsor a resolution before the United Nations General Assembly calling on our neighbor China to stop their harassment. We have to ask for tama po ba nasa UNGA. So I'm not saying malito, but I'm not also saying tama. The UNGA is for consensus. It is not for highly contentious issues like this. Many of the colleagues and allies of Senator Tiveros, makipaggitgitan tayo at pagka binomba yung ating isang barko, may war na. But just I'm correcting and, uh, the facts. Yes, and I'm also correcting also your facts. Mr. President, considering these stakes, considering all that we stand to lose, I maintain that there is no other option but to stand united behind the Philippine victory in The Hague and in opposition to the illegitimate territorial claims embodied in the so-called Nine Dash Line. Mr. President, taking this to a vote before the United Nations, knowing the stakes, knowing who we are up against, is us telling the Filipino people that we will not cower in fear, that we will fight with them. As the BRP Sierra Madre, tattered by the weather and battered by history, continues to stand defiantly as a symbol of a country that will not yield not one nautical inch, so too must we stand. Sir President, I'd like to put on the record that I agree 100% on the outrage of any claim and more so uh, any aggression no? or any move against our sovereignty, our territory, or sovereign rights. I also join the good senators and sponsors in commending our frontliners. Yan puman ay uh, Coast Guard, yan puman ay Bureau of Fisheries, yan puman ay private fishermen na naghahanap lang ng hanap buhay. Having said that, to the statement that we have no other choice, I feel that there is a need for a discussion because the Duterte and the Aquino administration did show that there are many choices and different approaches. So with the permission of the body and of course of the good senator, if I'm will be allowed to interpolate, I'd like to bring up the questions of who, what, and how. So the first question I'd like to ask is that, who are the parties to the dispute in the West Philippine Sea? Uh, if I may ask that to the good uh, sponsor. Yes, Mr. President and good gentlemen from Taguig and Pateros. There are many parties, many claimant nations in the whole of the South China Sea, including China and the Philippines and various others, but those who are particularly standing across each other in the West Philippine Sea. Actually, Mr. President, dapat iisa lamang. Dapat tayo lamang ang Pilipinas. But China had continuously taken aggressive and disrespectful actions towards us over many years. Senator Cayetano, is magandang makipag-usap kung yung kausap mo ay matino, sa totoo lang. Ang problema, kausap ni President Marcos, first state visit niya ay China. Nakausap niya po si President Xi. And during that meeting, they were very cordial, very friendly. And ang sabi po nila, they will continue to engage on freedom of navigation or movement within the West Philippine Sea. Wala pang ilang linggo na dumaan, ayun na po yung uh, pag-take over na po ng uh, uh, pag-green uh, lighting or uh, uh, mga green harassment or harassment uh, ng ating mga gray sh white ships, white ships po ito, Coast Guard, and our, our fisher folk. As a matter of fact, since then, the President has called the Ambassador several times to Malacanang. If you ask me, I would have been more harsh, actually. Mm -hmm. So, mahirap ang kumausap sa isang bansa na hindi mo naman matino. Malaysia and Vietnam. <laughs> uh, let, let me address the Senate President because he addressed my comments. Well, I'm trying so, to address the good gentleman's many points that are uh, accumulating. Well, uh, sorry, Senator Interverse. I was just also addressing your points. Actually, hindi pa tapos ipakita yung pictures ng Malaysia. No? But 
yung point ni Senator uh, ni Sen President Sir Sen President as I said I share with you the outrage mm-hmm. I share with you the frustration but nangyayari to but kinausap ng presidente but I also see the historical past ng panahon ni President Duterte layer after layer ng communication hanggang maayos to prevent I don't know if this chamber was uh, was uh, informed there was even a time for almost two months what may get one month hindi nagsasagutan ng telepono ang uh, ang ating uh, coast guard at china pero during the duterte administration pinagbawal ng both sides na hindi sagutin ng both sides yung telepono nung uh, ng uh, coast guard kasi sabi na dibal na mag-away yung gray ship ay uh, yung uh, yung hindi pwede na yung coast guard na kung saan may emergency hindi nag-uusap so my point is mr president precisely why mali it's not happening between the philippines and malaysia at vietnam but it's also not happening between Vietnam and Malaysia and China is because they found a way to work it out without other superpowers and may malinaw na usapan. Is, is uh, Vietnam and Malaysia satisfied? Of course not, because they believe it's theirs. Are we satisfied? No also, but I'm saying, Mr. President, in our desire to, to do something, we have to ask first, tama po ba nasa UNGA? Secondly, in our desire to do something against the biggest one, dahil mas malaki ekonomiya, mas marami sila, mas malakas ang kalang Navy, do we ignore our problems naman with Vietnam and uh, Malaysia? In our system of government, the president, being the head of state, is regarded as the sole organ and authority in external relation, and is the country's sole representative with foreign nations. This would put the Senate and executive in an awkward position and could cause embarrassment in the, sta- in the Senate if the president orders the DFA not to file the resolution. On the other hand, if it is going to file the resolution, why not hear this in committee, get the input of the national uh, uh, task force, get the input of 24 senators and strengthen it? There's another question of, is it the General Assembly or is it the Security Council? Because in cases where peace is at stake, the Security Council has the authority. Or is it a case of implementation? So should we go back to the permanent uh, court of arbitration? So that's my point, Mr. President. Even I, I'm not saying malito, but I'm not also saying tama. Bakit? Hindi ko po naririnig ko anong instructions ng Presidente sa DFA. Hindi ko pa po naririnig ang ambassador natin sa US. Ano yung sinasabi niyang bagong guarantee ni President Biden? The point I want to make, no, and I, I can wrap up or we can continue, is that I really appeal to you, to, to the body, let us fully take this up in the committee. Kung kailangan dalawang linggo, araw-araw, lahat ng briefing, lahat ng, kung kailangan in your chamber, Kausapin din natin yung Chinese ambassador if we have to get uh, think tanks from Southeast Asia because it's just so important and I, I guarantee you, no, if we simply pass this resolution, tapon lang natin sa UNGA, madidisappoint tayo. Be- because history has proven what I'm saying, na the UNGA is for consensus. It is not for highly contentious issues like this. Mr. It may President, work, may not work, but just my last point, Madam. <laughs> sir, ano, my last point is, it's so important that if we don't get all the information, study it well, and craft the maybe help the DFA craft the resolution itself. Kung yun ang decision natin, baka maging negative pa sa atin to later on. So, so let let me stop there and thank you for your patience, uh, Senator Tiveros and, and Senate President. Actually, if we examine history, Mr. President, tama, tama din na i-consider nating pumunta sa UNGA. For example, Mr. President, the Nicaraguan government went to the UN General Assembly to enforce the International Court of Justice or ICJ decision against the U.S., so Nicaragua, isang maliit na bansa din tulad natin, ang katapat niya sa pinagdesisyon ng isang international court, ICJ in that case, ay isang dambuhalang bansa rin, ang US noon, tulad natin ngayon sa China. They won in the ICJ, ayaw sumunod ng US to seize and desist in its activities around and inside Nicaragua, kaya dumulog 
ang Nicaragua sa isang katulad na resolusyon sa UNGA and they were upheld by the United Nations General Assembly. So, hindi mutually exclusive. May, yung pong Nicaragua po, sa ICJ po dinala yon hindi po sa sa GA. And, Katapos and, po ng ICJ, sa GA po dinala. Let, let me finish, Mr. President. Just some correcting and, uh, the fact, Mr. Yes, President. and I'm also correcting also your facts. So, the general compulsory jurisdiction of ICJ nag-withdraw ang US after that. And in fact, ang US naghintay ng mas friendly na administration sa Nicaragua bago sila nagbayad. At walang nagawa ang GA to enforce, to make sure that US paid. Well, well many of the colleagues and allies of Senator Tiveros in the media, whether it was the former Secretary Justice Carpio, you have given many, many of your opinion during the Duterte administration. It was all leading to that, no? And even uh, in the CA, no? E e even the assurances of our ambassador to the U.S. Ang eto point ko, the U.S. is a good friend. They're an indispensable ally, people to people, sa atin security economy. We should get closer to them, but. We should not be anti-US nor anti-China. We should be pro-Philippines. Because iba ang interest ng US sa interest ng Pilipinas, sa interest ng China. Yes. Freedom of navigation, pareho tayo sa US. Pero dito sa ating territory and sovereign rights, wala po so far guarantee ang US. Hindi po sila sabi ng US, sige, go ahead. Get the minerals, get the oil. Sagot ko kayo. Wala pong ganun. Kaya nga ang suggestion ni Justice Carpio, makipaggitgitan tayo at pagka binomba yung ating isang barko, may war na.